The climate crisis might be the biggest challenge for humanity in the 21st century. To understand why our planet is warming up, it helps to take a look at the greenhouse effect. Before coming to that, you can support me by subscribing to the channel. It might be helpful to start with a glassy greenhouse that is used for growing plants. The solar radiation penetrates the glass in form of highly energetic short waves. Almost everything inside absorbs the radiation from the sun. Then heat in form of long wave radiation is emitted from matter inside the greenhouse. A tiny portion of the heat can pass through the glass again, but most of the heat is not able to escape the system. Therefore the temperature inside the greenhouse increases even if the outside temperature is much lower. This technique allows us to grow crops, exotic fruits and various vegetables, which are valuable food sources for us. The mechanism of heating inside a glass greenhouse is due to the reduction of convection and therefore it differs a little from the global greenhouse effect. Nevertheless, it helps to understand it. The physical barrier of the greenhouse was out of glass. The natural barrier of planet Earth is composed of greenhouse gases located inside the atmosphere. Without those gases, our planet would be freezing cold with average temperatures of around minus 18 degrees Celsius and life as we know it would not be possible. The greenhouse gases ensure that we have higher temperatures on Earth. There are many different greenhouse gases with different potential to trap heat inside the atmosphere. Among the gases that contribute most to the greenhouse effect are nitrous oxide, carbon dioxide, methane and also water vapor. How exactly are these gas molecules involved in heating up the atmosphere? Solar radiation has a short wavelength that means high energy radiation. The radiation from the sun partly penetrates the atmosphere and reaches the planet's surface which is warmed up. Heat and energy in form of long-waved infrared radiation is emitted by the Earth and is released back into the atmosphere. A small fraction can escape into space, but the most part of the infrared radiation is absorbed by the greenhouse gases. The atoms of the gas molecule start vibrating when they absorb heat and, as a consequence, they can release the radiation again in all directions. A significant part of the heat ends up in the atmosphere again. This effect contributes to the warming process. By nature, the greenhouse effect is good as long as certain concentrations of greenhouse gases are not exceeded and enough heat can escape into space. But once the greenhouse gases are drastically increased in the atmosphere, as we have observed since the industrialization, more and more of the radiation is trapped in the atmosphere and the planet is getting warmer and warmer. Humans have contributed significantly to global warming by emitting high amounts of greenhouse gases since the 1900s. Methane, for example, is drastically emitted by multiple factors such as organic waste, rice cultivation and also livestock used for dairy and meat production. Carbon dioxide emissions are mainly driven by energy production, industry and transport. Those emissions are mainly caused by the burning of fossil fuels, which heavily contribute to the climate crisis. It is important to reduce the emissions of those greenhouse gases significantly, to slow down global warming. It is not only on us to change things in our personal life with little daily decisions. It is also even more important to convince politicians to act as fast as possible. One way of doing that is by participating in climate strikes. Check the description for more information about that. Thanks for watching.